On February 2nd, 1967, a franchise in the American Basketball Association was offered to a group of Indiana sportsmen and businessmen. After the results of two feasibility studies conducted by the city indicated that the Indianapolis area could support professional basketball, the group accepted the offer and professional basketball was back home again in Indiana. The Indiana Pacers opened their ABA tenure during the 1967-68 season. Despite a record below 500 during the first season, the Pacers still led the ABA in attendance, averaging almost 5,000 fans per night. The next season marked the beginning of the Pacers' ABA dynasty. Indiana won the Eastern Division and made it to the ABA Championship Finals before falling to the Oakland Oaks four games to one. During the 1969-70 season, Indiana ran away from the ABA by posting a 59-25 record, won the Eastern Division crown again, and won their first ABA championship by beating the Los Angeles Stars four games to two. After moving to the Western Division for the 1970-71 season, the Pacers continued their dominance and went on to win ABA championships in two of the next three seasons. The Indiana Pacers were truly the class of the ABA during their nine-year run in the league, making the playoffs every season. They won three division titles, three ABA championships, had three ABA most valuable players, the winningest coach in ABA history, and were always known for having the best fans in the league. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mark Boyle. It is my privilege to be your host for tonight's halftime ceremony honoring our three ABA championship teams. And I invite you now to join me in welcoming some of the men that made that possible. Starting first, near the free throw line on the Pacer bench side of the floor, he was a member of the Pacers' first ABA championship team, averaging 11 and a half points per game. Please welcome Janet Barnhill, the wife of John Barnhill. He played in 82 games during the Pacers' first ABA championship season. Please welcome back Art Becker. An original Pacer and one of the all-time greats. He played eight seasons in Indiana. All three championship teams were a part of his legacy. His jersey hangs in the rafters here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Please welcome back Jeannie Brown, the wife of the great Roger Brown. From the University of Evansville, he played seven seasons with the Pacers, including the 72-73 championship season. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Boozy. This gentleman was a member of the championship team in Indiana in 1971-72. A warm welcome, please, for Larry Cannon. He also played on the Pacers' first championship team. Please welcome back to Indiana, Steve Chubin. This gentleman was also a member of the Pacers' first championship team. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Oliver Darden. A key member of two of the Pacers' ABA championship teams. He played six seasons in Indiana. You probably know him better as Dr. Dunk. Please welcome Darnell Hillman. A native of Indianapolis and a star at Purdue University, he played on all three Pacers championship teams. You know him, Billy Keller. A member of the 1971-72 ABA championship team, please welcome Arvesta Kelly. The point guard on all three Pacers championship teams, and a key member on each, please welcome the great Freddie Lewis. An Indianapolis native who played seven seasons with the Pacers on two championship teams, MVP of the entire league in 75. His jersey is in the rafters here at the Fieldhouse. The great George McGinnis. Another original member of the Indiana Pacers, he played on two of the Pacers' ABA championship teams, Bob Metalicki. This gentleman played two seasons for the Pacers. One of those seasons 
was the 72-73 championship season. Please welcome back Bill Newton. Another member of the 1971-72 Pacers championship team, a warm welcome for Mr. Mike Price. He played three seasons for the Pacers, including their first championship season. A warm welcome for Tom Thacker. This gentleman was the Pacers athletic trainer for 35 years, Mr. David Craig. I could go on and tell you all about this man has accomplished. It would be impressive, but I think it's just better to say, please welcome Hall of Famer Mel Daniels. <laughs> Mel is going into the Hall of Fame this season, and Mel, for all you have done for the franchise, a great representative as a player, a team executive, and one of the most popular players in Pacers history. Pacers Sports and Entertainment would like to show their appreciation with a brand new truck. <laughs> and last but not least, Perhaps the single most iconic figure in the history of our franchise, the coach, Slick Leonard. put him out there tonight because he was a great competitor. He was a great winner. He'd do anything to win a basketball game. And he, when he walked inside these black lines, the game was on. He scored over 50 points in a ball game more than once. 30 rebounds many times. His teammates loved him. The fans loved him. The franchise loved him. He's been a dear friend of mine for over 40 years. And now you can join with me in congratulating Mel for his oncoming induction into the National Basketball Hall of Fame. I think you're going to have to bear with me for a little bit. I might get a little choked up. I'd like to thank my teammates. If it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be me. I also like to thank the men who started this ball rolling, Charlie Lightham, Dick Tinkham, and the Bull brothers and others. I also like to thank the men who kept the ball rolling, Herb and Mel Simon. Uh, and, and get away from me. He can't help himself. He really can't. I also like to thank the wonderful fans that stood behind us the good times and bad times. We never won a championship at home, but we carried your energy everywhere we went. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's also a great honor to be going into the Hall of Fame with another Pacer, Reggie Miller. I'd like to think that he and I will open the door and hold it open for other Pacers and ABA players to join us, especially our coach, 
Slick Leonard, Roger Brown, and other deserving patients who belong in the hall. And with that, I'd like to also say a special thank you to a man and his professionalism, Donnie Walsh, Larry Bird. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you fans for sticking with us. Good luck to the Pacers in the future in the playoffs. Thank you very much. God bless all of you. In fact, my teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand for these championship men of the Indiana Pacers. And please join us now as we welcome them to center court to take a photo reenacting the trophy presentation. Fans, let's hear it one more time for your ABA champion, Indiana Pacers. 